Okay, hi, um, my name is Maddie, and the movie I did was Fried Green Tomatoes, and it was composed by Thomas Newman. So a like a very brief summary of the movie. Um, this movie is mostly a feel-good movie portraying the life of one of the main characters, E.G. Threadgood, by using memories from her past, and it goes back and forth from real time and her past. Um, and one of the most memorable scenes that I chose to do my video on uh, is at the Whistle Stop Cafe, which shows the film's stylistic genre of Southern Gothic. Um, in this scene, we are introduced to a diner in Alabama that becomes an important setting throughout the movie. Um, it opens with a shot of the cafe's exterior, which is just run down, weathered, eerie, and it, then it pans to the inside, and it's also <laughs> eerie, run down, um, the dim lighting and the colors emphasize the cafe's dingy and unsettling atmosphere. And as the scene progresses, we are introduced to the main characters, Iggy Threadgood and Ruth. Um, Iggy is the owner of the cafe and Ruth is her best friend and also love interest. The characters are portrayed as flawed and complex with their relationships and motivations being often ambiguous and unclear. Um, due to Ruth's husband, Frank, who was evidently beating her. Um, the scene's use of Southern Gothic stylistic elements is shown in the depiction of the cafe and the characters who inhibit it. Um, the cafe's rundown appearance and eerie atmosphere that surrounds it almost reflects the genre emphasis on decay and the characters are portrayed as unconventional and grotesque. Um, the music, the use of music in this scene also contributes to its southern gothic atmosphere because it's a mix of old-timey blues and country songs and it just makes the scene feel a, a little uneasy, just weird. Um, there's also a weird sense of nostalgia and melancholy and the lyrics of the song also reflect the character's struggles and hardships which further emphasize the scene's emotional weight. Um, Overall, the music in Fred Green Tomatoes is an important aspect of its emotional impact and is used effectively to follow the tension and action of each scene. The film score was composed by Thomas Newman, uh, who has composed a multitude of movies, and he's known, he is known for his ability to create evocative and emotional music that supports the narrative. Um, an example, a specific example of how it follows the tension and action of certain scenes is um, Frank's abuse, which is Ruth's husband. The scene where Frank um, abuses his wife is accompanied by a haunting and mournful like piano piece, and it underscores the tragedy of the situation and highlights the emotional impact of Ruth's suffering. Um, another specific example is The Secret, uh, when Ninny Threadgood, um, the actor in real time, not the past, but Nini reveals the secret of Iggy and Ruth's relationship. The music is soft and tender, and the use of a solo piano and strings um, creates a romantic and emotional atmosphere that reflects the intimacy of the moment. There are several uh, leitmotifs in the movie that represent people, places, or ideas. Um, like uh, with Ruth, um, Ruth is associated with a gentle romantic theme that features a solo piano. Um, the music that reflects Ruth's kindness and sensitivity, as well as her love for Iggy. Uh, Evelyn Couch, which is one of the actors in real time as well. The character of Evelyn, Evelyn Couch is associated with the wistful and kind of melancholy theme that features a solo violin. Um, the music that reflects Evelyn's sense of dissatisfaction and loneliness, as well as her longing for connection and purpose. Um, and the Whistle Stop Cafe, uh, where much of the film actually takes place, has a distinctive um, musical motif associated with it. It's played on a guitar and has like a folksy, uh, nostalgic feel that reflects the cafe's southern charm and history. Um, the composer's score for Fried Green Tomatoes is distinctive for many reasons. Uh, he uses in unusual instruments and a mixture of genres, as well as his emotional depth and different scenes and his use of sound effects. Um, so for sound effects, in addition to a musical score, he also uses sound effects to create a unique and immersive sonic environment. 
Uh, for example, the sound of a train whistle is used as a reoccurring motif throughout the film to represent change and movement, um, while the sounds of the Whistle Stop Cafe and its patrons add to the film's southern charm and nostalgia. Um, overall, the Thomas Newman score for Fried Green Tomatoes is distinctive for its use of um, unusual instruments, mixture of genres, emotional depth, and creative use of sound effects. Um, all of these elements combined uh, create a soundtrack in a way that is memorable and effective in supporting the film's narrative. Um, overall, it's one of my favorite movies and I'm glad I could write a paper on it as well as a video. And um, that is my ending. Thank you.